My name is uh, Roddy Henderson. This is the Savoy Park Hotel in Air. It's a family business. My folks bought this hotel in 1960. The hotel itself has always been uh, quite Scottish. My dad used to wear the kilt all the time and we're in Burns country. So naturally we have a, a strong affinity to Robert Burns. We have a few bedrooms that are named after Robert Burns' uh, girlfriends and wife, Highland Mary, Clarinda. And above the bar we have a, a painting of the last scene of Tam Ashanter with Tam riding over the bridge with uh, the witch pulling the tail off the horse, off Meg. So we have a number of these things within the hotel which, which we feel are, are appropriate. And within this room itself we have some old Scottish weaponry which was here in the hotel. When we had the hotel refurbished we, we incorporated that within the design as you'll see the swords above the fireplace behind me. It's been an evolution of things over the years where now we have quite sort of some modern Scottish things in with quite traditional Scottish things and uh, creates quite a nice, uh, what we like to think and most of the folks that come here like is quite a kind of Scottish feel hotel. We have uh, our own house lager in the hotel which we uh, decided to call Druthy, which um, Obviously, a lot of people have never heard this word before, so it gives us the opportunity to, one, have a bit of a, a laugh about how to pronounce it properly if you don't come from Scotland, and uh, then obviously we can talk about what druthy means, which is thirsty, just in case we weren't sure. And we have you know, some Scottish items on the menu. The chefs do a great thing, which is a haggis fritter, which um, everybody loves it, you know, particularly people who've never had it before. We've had business clients that come here who who ask for it every single time they come and even when it's not on the menu sometimes they'll specially request it. We have haggis that goes out with the, the breakfasts so people can have it on, in the morning time and we have Kranakin on as well which again some people can't pronounce it so again it's sort of slightly amusing but it gives you a chance to talk about what it is and, and where it's come from. Quite a, a lot of folks come for short breaks some folks have a, a clear agenda of what it is they want to do when they come and other people are quite open to suggestions. On our website we have a, quite a, a spread of activities that, that we uh, make people aware of should they want to know before they come. We do have mention of, of a local uh, company that does Burns tours on the website so that there is an image of that and uh, Donald dressed up as Robert Burns. We have Killeen Castle which is just down the coast from us which is absolutely beautiful, it's a fantastic place. We have a, a phenomenal set of uh, hills just outside of Ayrshire and Girvan called the Ayrshire Alps which again we promote and we work in collaboration with the local cycling club and uh, a website called the Ayrshire Alps which gives you the climbs that you can ride and various routes to ride so yeah there's a lot of things you can do. During the, the shoulder months over the winter time we have uh, created different wedding packages to encourage people in the winter time and uh, during the winter when it's a bit darker you have the, the opportunity to create a kind of cosier ambience. On the, on the website where people generally tend to do their homework first looking at the hotel the, we have lots of photographs of brides in various different situations at different times of year and we try and keep these as, as fresh as possible. And I think part of when people are looking for a venue for their wedding tradition is part of the, the package, obviously the quality of everything that you offer is important and the fact that we have quite a Scottish feeling, people find that that kind of little bit of heritage, a little bit of tradition is part of the, the wedding experience, it makes it feel that it's got a bit more gravity. People like that, people, you know, we get a lot of very good feedback from folks that have come from outside who say how much they liked the friendliness of the folks in Scotland and the folks here and they, and they liked the, the ambience, they liked the kind of more historical aspect of, of what we have here because it, it feels traditional and they like that. But on, on, on the website, we, we, I think the, the, f the image content, I think is, is, to my mind, is the most important thing because that's what people see. And uh, if you're as lazy as I am, you don't really read much of the words, but you definitely look at the pictures and absorb the, the feeling from the pictures. So I think, that to me, the pictures are very important. We have plenty of them on, on, our, on our website and we use them on the Facebook page as well.